Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be here today. I wanted to do a mini Sephora beauty haul. There was a few things I picked up pretty recently because as you know, right before the holidays, Sephora like had a sale on top of a sale on top of a sale on top of a sale. So I was like, ooh, let me just capitalize on this opportunity and get a few things that I've been dying to try and tell you guys what they are and how I've been liking them and may give you some considerations for some things you might wanna put on your beauty list. And so I wanted to share them because I think they are wonderful, money well spent, and yeah. So we're gonna just get started. All right, so the first item is from Danessa Myricks. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with her, but if you aren't, she is a makeup artist who really started to pop on social media over like the last few years. She is known for having these like gorgeous looks. I'm gonna pop some up. Like she does makeup in a way that I personally have not seen before. So there's makeup artists, of course. And then there's those makeup artists that do things with the products that you've never seen before. And she started to come up with her own formulas and she's known for her own signature looks. Like, you know when Danessa Myricks has touched somebody's face. I feel like you do because it's just so, ugh, I can't even describe it. It's just so artistic and beautiful. It looks just, it's the artistry for me. <laughs> like it is good, what a tea. It is really good. Yeah, I just wanted to support her because I think the world of her artistry, of her looks, of her, I knew she was gonna have beautiful products. And of course, as I suspected, girlfriend did not disappoint. So here is what I got. So what I picked up was her Lightwork Volume 2 Highlighter Palette. And when I tell y'all, woo, we when i tell y'all this is amazing it's beautiful i'm actually wearing it right now today i'm actually wearing the color chai tea but the colors i have to show you guys how beautiful they are up close like just wow honestly they're unbelievable they're unbelievable and the pigment i put this on my brush and when i tell you that color payoff is crazy it almost looks like i went overboard like how beautiful it is and i've always really struggled to find highlighters that i fell in love with that i felt like looked amazing on me this is it this is the answer to my highlighter prayers she's right here right here in the flesh <laughs> all right my second thing from pat mcgrath this has been so hard to get y'all honestly i actually just recently got this it was on the website for about 24 hours before it sold back out again. Certain colors, as you can always expect from Pat McGrath, are just going to sell out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. They are going to sell out. They are going to be gone. But this... So this is Pat McGrath's matte lipstick in the shade Elson Number 4. Y'all, it is the perfect red. I've never seen anybody put this on and did not like it. This is what it looks like. Again, I'm gonna pop up some pictures. I should be filming in it right now, but your girl does not want red lips for the rest of the day. It's so beautiful. Every time I've seen people wear this, I've been like shook. It is sold out on her website. It stays sold out on Sephora's website. I was like, and what I liked about it too, just to kind of give you a quick description is it's not drying. Most mattes make you feel just so dry and like your lips are just like literally like, it sucks all the life and the moisture out of your lips. This doesn't do that. And I think that deserves a lot of credit because I love matte, but I'm actually terrified of wearing them in the winters now because I just don't want my lips to be super chapped. I don't want them to be achy, none of that. And this is not what that does. Like, I'm gonna put a link for it. So if you can get your hands on it, I would say it is 100% worth a try, especially if you desire to wear a red lip. If red lips aren't your thing, I understand, but this could change your mind. I mean, I'm just saying, it could. It very well could. Cause Pat does that. She's, she's magical. It's Pat, the mothership, like I, <sighs> I just, I'm just, mm. listen, if you know, you know, if you don't know, now you know. Glory, glory. <laughs> so the last one is a fragrance by Killian. It is called Angel Share. And when I tell y'all, this is fire, y'all, the bottle, 
the bottle is just, can we take a moment for the bottle? It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is Angel Share. I'm gonna show you guys up close because you deserve to see it. Like, woo, mm. it's so pretty. I think honestly, this is the type of thing, even though I believe you should use all your things, I wouldn't be mad if I didn't use it and just had this on my counter looking beautiful. It is so gorgeous. But this scent has actually been getting a lot of social buzz, which I love and I'm excited for because it smells incredible. They describe it as like warm and sweet gourmand. In the fragrance world means very heavy in its vanilla notes. So it's very vanilla-y. It's very like warm. It has cinnamon notes in it as well. It's just a really well-balanced fragrance. I remember trying this on in Sephora earlier in the summertime, far before I bought it. And I was just like blown away. I, I never would have thought this would be a type of scent that I liked and wanted per se. I think it's perfect for the fall winter. It's definitely something that I would wear around this time. It's just like a big warm winter hug. <laughs> Or like a big warm winter treat, but I don't know which one to say right now. Needless to say, she's worth checking out. She really is. So yeah, that's actually everything from this Sephora haul. Those are my picks from what I've been purchasing recently that I absolutely think the world of and would be like, and would recommend over and over and over again to friends and anybody who is on the hunt for items like those. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell as well for notifications every time I post. Thank you so much for watching as always. I will talk to you later. Bye.